Hello everyone and welcome again to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll talk postseason basketball. We'll check in with Ferris State Hockey and we'll update you on the men's and women's tennis team as they were in action on a busy weekend as well. We'll start with Bulldog basketball and joined by head coach Andy Bronkema. And coach, welcome back to the show. Thanks Robert. One game this past week against Grand Valley State in the, the regular season finale. But before we get into those highlights, uh, let's talk about your Saturday night and an uh, opportunity for you to, to join the dog pound as uh, part of the, the student section for Bulldog Hockey. Yeah, you know what? We had a Saturday practice. We gave the guys uh, Friday off, came back Saturday to have, have a practice, and then the hockey game was going on. So we got an opportunity for the guys to go out in, into the stands and throw out some T-shirts uh, in between practice. And then when pra soon as practice is over, I was able to get the hockey jersey on and, and get rowdy with the fans a little bit. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a few things. I tried, I tried to get in a few different sections of the dog pound. My, my final destination was at the bottom, I think, with the craziest guys. And uh, I really liked it right there. Certainly a great way to, to show some support for Bulldog Hockey and hopefully get some of those fans to come out this week. Uh, we're taping the show on Monday, but Wednesday night, the GLIAC tournament and a big game for the Bulldogs against Ashland University. Yeah, you're just trying to promote the brand overall, the Ferris State Bulldog brand, and, and you know, to get into that group, uh, the dog pound there, and to have fun with them um, was fine in itself. If no one comes to the game, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, but there's a lot of in between uh, with, with the different sports teams here at Ferris State, and that was just another example of that. As we go to the highlights uh, of last week, we'll start first, uh, regular season finale, senior night, and 11 seniors honor between the women's side and the, and the men's side, and a great way to celebrate the, their accomplishments between games. You win in this league with seniors, with upperclassmen. So the, you know the things that our seniors have been able to do, and, and, and the women seniors too. It's just, uh, it's special. They make it through, and, and there's ups and downs, and uh, there's things that happen. But when you see somebody all the way through, it's uh, it's really special. Um, and you know this year we've we've got some extra games after senior night, so I felt a little bit a little bit different than last year. But you you know you get a little emotional. These guys are special to to me and, and to the people in the program and. Uh, it was a great night honoring them. Five uh, individuals honored on the men's side. Uh, what did that senior class mean, and, and what have they done to help Bulldog basketball? You know, it's it's going to be a, a, a long end of the year banquet. You know, talking about these guys and, and their special stories. Each one of them has a special story, and they they, they mean a lot. You know, um, I, I can't do enough justice in, in in the short amount of time we have here. The sentences I'm going to say to explain what they have meant to the program. You know, Dietrich and Drew coming in, playing right away on, on the North Division champs and, and you know, really having, um, you know, some, some leadership for two years. And then just, you know, Dan Chilcote and, and, and Matt Poach is how he's prevailed and after his transfer. And, you know, Matt Stoll's story after coming in from community college. I mean, they have wonderful stories, storybook stories. So proud of all those guys. As we go into the highlights of the game, a uh, big game, a rivalry game, great crowd on hand. Uh, talk about that matchup with Grand Valley, just how important this game was uh, in terms of the postseason implications. Well, we cracked into the regional rankings, so um, we knew we'd crack back out if we lost this game. So we, we were in that eight spot. We know that this is a big game, plus it's a rivalry game. So uh, these guys came out firing right away. I think we're 9 of 18 uh, from three in the first half. I guess when we shoot it like that, we're going to be re real tough to beat. So we were planning on a grind it out game. You know, uh, Grand Valley was playing for a lot, playing for a 500 record instead of a losing record. Um, and, and they have you know, a lot of tradition and pride over there too. So we knew they were going to come out, but we just we shot the lights out and our guys were motivated and uh, ready to play. And they, they were making plays all day long. You see the, you see the football players there and, and the other sports teams. It's just something crazy we got going on at Ferris right now with the camaraderie and, and togetherness of, of the athletic department. Um, you never want to take it for granted because it's uh, it's an amazing thing and it's special. It's not it's not uh, it's not common. Drew Lehman right here got you off to a quick start and then makes a, a nice pass here to give you a 20 point lead at halftime. Uh, going into the locker room, uh, always nice to be in front by 20. Well, it's an, it's nice to be in front by 20. It's nice to have momentum too. You know, big Mo's on your side in the locker room uh, with that. Crazy shot by uh, Cushenberry just out of his hands before the buzzer, and, and uh, that was a pretty amazing play and uh, a good feeling going into the locker room. Grand Valley made a nice little run uh, early in the second half, but really never able to get within uh, striking distance as your team really stepped up and made some big plays when you had Yeah, to. we held that 20 point lead at the first media. It was still at 20, and you know we were able to, to you know, make the, there's no off the bench, you know, coming right off the bench and, and nailing three 17 points in 17 minutes, you know, in, in a a big game on a big stage for a freshman that was that was a heck of a performance and 
You love to see guys stepping up like that because you get to know them real well. You see them stepping up in practice. You see the potential. And then when it happens in the game, there, that explains the game right there too with Fleming uh, uh, twirling around and flipping it over his head and it going in. So it was one of those nights for us and uh, we're happy to have had one of those nights. Again, ball bounces, pushes in the right spot, finger rolls it in. So you just smile when that happens and certainly plenty of that stuff has happened against us this year too. And, I smile then too. 77 55 uh, victory uh, in, in the regular season finale, uh, your 20th win of the year. Uh, talk about what that means, uh, doubling last year's win total. Well, it's just a credit to our players. I mean, you know, to, to think that we won twice as many games as we did last year with, with a lot of the same team members, it means they worked hard, they were determined, and they, they bought in, and, you know, they did it. They closed out some real close games. We lost some close ones too, but um, it's a great year for those guys. This week, as we mentioned, uh, hosting Ashland on Wednesday night in the Glee quarterfinals. Uh, what do you expect out of Ashland as they come to Wink Arena? Ashland's a real hard-nosed team. They, you know, they lead the league in fouls and uh, defensive field goal percentage, so they're really just going to grind on you. And when we played at third place, it was it was just so long ago. We, you know, we revisit that film. It's like, okay, we're not the same team. They're not the same team. Um, they got some young players that have gotten a lot better, and they're uh, South Division champions. You know, 19 and nine, I think they are. It's a heck of a team we're playing. And, uh, you know, r right now as it stands, their, their way to get into the tournament is to win the conference tournament if they're getting, getting the NCAA tournament. So they're going to be really hungry, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, playoff contest. This week, uh, as, you, as you get ready for the quarterfinal game on uh, Wednesday night, you win that, uh, semifinals and finals this weekend at the site of the highest seed. What does it take for the Bulldogs to, to maybe make a run at that conference title this weekend? Well, you know, we've proven we can beat all the teams in the league this year because we've done that except for Lake State and uh, we'd like another crack at them you know they're the back-to-back -back champs and uh, you know you don't want to get ahead of yourself but when you when you dream you dream big and that's what we do around here you think about cutting their nets down at their place you know and third time's a charm so if we're fortunate enough to get in that scenario we're going to give it everything we have and uh, you know that's that's fun to be in a position even close enough to think about it you know it's a, it's exciting for us and uh, you know it's gonna take a lot of things going our ways and, and players making plays and game plans uh, coming through and uh, but it's within our reach uh, obviously the NCAA tournament uh, selections come up uh, this this weekend as well and uh, what does it take for the Bulldogs to, to get into that NCAA tournament field uh, eighth in the region as you mentioned last week and, and hoping to move up uh, after that win over Grand Valley yeah it was good that we won and you know some of the teams uh, uh, surrounding us the top two the two teams above us the two teams below us both lost uh, one of the teams above us lost twice um, and uh, you'd, you'd like to think that moves us up and uh, there's some politics there's some formulas there's some different things um, we're definitely a tournament level team there's no doubt about it um, I've been around you know division two basketball and tournament teams before I, I, I know we can go out there and compete and uh, I think we deserve it but the one thing we can do to help ourselves is, is win some more. So uh, that's what we're going to try to try to do here. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the win over the Lakers. Uh, best of luck uh, here in the upcoming GLIAC tournament. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.